Okay guys, so here we have, this is a large box. This is a fairly large box and it says what's in there. So this is the Vassar collection on PS4, Nintendo Switch and it should be the Vita, the PlayStation Vita. I pre-ordered this, God, it's been about a year. It's about a year ago. Now they said during the pre-order, since it's been so long, they were gonna add in extras and stuff like that. This is a pretty big box and it is heavy. So let's see what we got from Strictly Limited Games. This is the longest pre-order. I thought Cosmic Star Heroin took a while. They got them beat, okay? Come on, Strictly Limited, tighten up, baby. Well, they got this box taped up pretty good. I mean, this did come from, what, Germany? So, I know it takes a while to get here, but a year? Okay. All right, here's some stuff here. Okay, we got all kinds of stuff here. All right, so where should I go first? Okay. Okay. All right, so this is, I don't know what this is, a magnet, a tile. It looks like it's used. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Now, they did say they were going to make special art pieces for the people that pre-ordered this game because it has taken so long to get to us. I get that. This is, uh... This is interesting. It feels like it's a tile, and my dog's barking upstairs. Don't mind him, though. Probably the mailman or something. Here's another card that came. Let's see. <laughs> We've kept you waiting for a while. Yeah, you have. Sorry. From the bottom of our hearts. Now, I appreciate this, okay? Strictly Limited, I appreciate this. This is, uh, look, it's even got the little teardrop and everything. This is great. So this is definitely staying with this game. Um, here's another card that came with this game postcard so this is the postcard i guess that came with every game um that's pretty cool so these two items right here are the extras that came in they were supposed to give this with each game they said it during an email anyway here's the ps4 uh version right here it's just the game in the manual so i'm not going to open it up just yet i'm not sure what i'm going to do with these yet but actually fuck it i'm going to open up the ps4 i'm going to play this on the ps4 well i keep it sealed right I'm sure you guys are going to want to see me open at least one of these. Okay, this is uh, release number 19. And I don't know. Whatever that means right there. There's the case art. This was released on uh, PlayAsia. You know, PlayAsia. This is just a, a U.S. release. The, the, the physical U.S. release. Maybe not U.S. release. The physical English version. I don't know. But this did come out on PlayAsia's website too. But anyway, there's the disc. You know, enter case art there. And it looks pretty cool. Okay, full color manual. And there is a manual, so that is nice. Very nice. Okay. Now, this is not the greatest shooter, but guys, I, like I'll tell you, this is a pretty decent shooter. And Visco, um, Visco, I guess the company that made this game, they weren't really known for much. And they made these pair of shooters in the late 2000s, early 2000s, or late 90s, early 2000s that were pretty decent. And... I've been playing these games through a, you know, RetroArch, through a ROM emulator, a MAME emulator for, you know, quite some time. And I really like these games. And when I found out these were getting physical releases, I had to order it for every system that it was coming out for. You know, guys, I love shooters. You know that. Awesome manual. I wonder if there's a notes section in the back. Huh. Oh, my God, guys. You got to smell that. Oh, my God. I love the smell. I love the smell. Here's some art right here. Some comics. Pretty cool. That looks like something from Steam Hearts, doesn't it? Yeah, awesome. What's that say on the back there? Okay, we appreciate your support. Well, I appreciate you sending me my game. Anyway, there's the Vassar Collection on the PlayStation 4. Again, that version did come out on... Uh, well, that, not that exact version, but it did come out on uh, PlayAsia's website. And some other Japanese sites, if you're familiar with those. But anyway, here's the Nintendo Switch version right here. Here's the tile. It's the same tile. We're going to compare these two. Okay, the same tile came with the PS4 and the Switch version there. Okay. How about this art card? It's the same. Completely the same. Okay. And what's this? Oh, look at this. Sometimes things get different than expected. 
We are truly sorry for having kept you waiting for so long. Wow. Isn't that something? To our dearest customer. Huh. Well, I tell you, I've ordered a lot of stuff from you guys from uh, from the Strictly Limited, and I appreciate this. I've never had a publisher or a distributor, whatever you guys are, a company like this actually handwrite. I guess that's handwritten. Yeah. I don't think that's printed on there, guys. I think that, I don't know. It looks handwritten. Close enough. I've never had them actually do that. So, hey, I appreciate it. I'm happy to support a uh, physical version of a game like this. If you watch my channel, you know I love shooters. So, yeah, everything's the same here. But I didn't get that handwritten note in the uh, the PS4 version. Or, I mean, in the Switch version. I did get it on the PS4 version. Okay, so I got one more thing here. Okay, sorry I'm kind of scattered and all over the place. I'm just kind of doing this off the cuff, guys. Um... I did order a collector's edition of one of these. I'm actually not going to open this up. And the reason why, and maybe I'll open it in a little bit, but the reason why, this is on the Vita. I don't know why I ordered it on the Vita. I should have got it on the Switch or the PS4 or whatever. But for whatever reason, I'm a big Vita fan. So I ordered the collector's edition on the Vita, probably because I knew I wasn't going to play it as much. But I can just download it and play it that way. It's just a um, soundtrack. And honestly, I don't know. I don't know what's in here. I don't know. Should I open this? I was just looking and seeing these things being sold for like 150 bucks though. So I don't know, guys. You know, call me what any kind of MF you want down in the comments. But I'm not going to open this right now. You know, maybe, maybe in a little bit. And I know my one buddy, that game collector, he's probably like, John, you MF or open it up. It's not meant to be sealed. I get you. But dude, I've seen these things selling for like 150 bucks, so I might I might let go of it. But I don't know; it's a shooter, but you know I might have to cash out. But that is the collector's edition of the Vassar collection on the Vita. And let's see, let's compare cards here. So art card, art tile, exactly the same. It's weird; these things look used. That's so weird. But they did say they were going to give everybody one of these. Maybe I can get enough of them, collect enough of them, and like tile a. Uh, a bathroom with them i don't know pretty cool though um let's see these are all the same oh there's another handwritten letter let's uh let's see if it's really handwritten it's printed on look at that exactly the same ah well it's the thought that counts it looks like it's handwritten it's funny when like credit card companies and stuff do this and they send you these handwritten letters and it looks handwritten but it's really just printed off to everybody I still appreciate it. At least somebody at some time, I would think, wrote that on something and uploaded it to, you know, be printed off or whatever. But I get it. I get it. It's the thought that counts. And here's another card they give you. Pretty cool. But anyway, there's the collector's edition on the Vita. Here's the PS4 version, standard edition. You can get that on PlayAge's website, I do believe. Even still to this day, and it is pretty cheap. And this is the Vassar collection on the Nintendo Switch. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Till next time. Peace out.